Hello and welcome back to Jadarchini, uh, the village where I live in northwest Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's uh, a Friday at the moment. I'm sat. I don't know what fruit tree this is. Maybe it's another. No, it's a quince tree. I think I'm under a quince tree at the moment. Um, we have a sort of like hill uh, on the property and I'm sat there and you won't be able to see it at the moment because there's so much greenery around at the moment. But Lactashi is just over there and sometimes in the autumn you can get a really nice view of the church in the centre um, of the town. It's lunchtime ish let me tell you because I've got my phone here yeah about 20 20 minutes to 12 and it's nearly 30 degrees and it's going to be even hotter today. Um, I can't handle extremes of heat and I can't handle extremes of cold but um, I'll always take the heat option rather than the cold option. This week has been pretty mundane really and we started off uh, the week going into Lactashi. Tamara decided that our car was an outright em embarrassment because we haven't washed it for a long time. So we drove in uh, to Lactashi which is always a nice drive for me because I've done it maybe hundreds of thousands of times maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration but we've driven into Lactashi almost on a daily basis and I always see something new either a new kiosk has popped up or somebody's decorated the house or whatever so for me um, there's always something new to see and when I first arrived here car washes were done at the side of the road by by young men and families uh, it was a way of making uh, a living at the time but now these new uh, self-service uh, car washes have uh, percolated their way down from northern Europe and so these are everywhere they put the old ones out of business there still are some but I really really do when I have the opportunity prefer to get uh, a really nice personalized wash both inside and out I mean what we do is it makes the car clean right but yeah it's not not the same
So with our clean car, we then proceeded on past the car wash into Lactashi itself to the other side, I don't know, just quite close actually, to where our vets are at One Health Vet. Because Akiva, the little uh, kitten that was dumped uh, on the property, has developed sniffs uh, and congestion and he's a little bit distressed, poor thing, um, not being able to breathe properly. Um, we've been feeding him uh, milk from a bottle, special uh, milk for uh, kittens and it's all becoming a little bit too much, so much so that last night it, we were getting very worried indeed so we're very blessed that we can just get onto Viber and just send a message to one of the, the vets and they said come in straight away um, which we did. Now when we first had Akiva checked over they said you know with a young cat young kitten rather of that age there's no way that they're going to give medication or whatever but the decision was taken that he needs some help so he had a couple of injections um, and some linked to, to make his throat not so painful uh, and he needs antibiotics for three days and rather than take um, tablets because it's always difficult to get cats to take tablets anyway and with a kitten it's going to be like a real drama and put him into more distress so he had antibiotic by um, uh, injection. I have to say, because I'm recording this afterwards, that he he did improve terrifically and today we went for the second injection. He's got plugged up again but he's moving about a lot more um, and fingers crossed he's going to be all right and tomorrow will be the last injection for him. And our two vets are the best team ever. Um, <laughs> before we finish filming, Tam said, can we take a selfie? So here they are. These are the two guys. Give them a thumbs up, right? One of the other things we've been getting up to is preparing for collaborations with Denise. Uh, Denise is married to a guy from Ban originally from Banja Luka. They both met as um, uh, cabin staff with Emirates uh, Airlines. And now Denise is living in Banja Luka and she's got lots of cool projects to do with the Spanish language um, and, and she does Instagram and what else does she do? She's got a YouTube channel that she's developing, a really cool person and uh, we've met her twice now and on our second meeting um, she wanted uh, to give some sweets to Tam's niece Victoria and to Tamara and then to record some responses for um, a company in Argentina that supplies her with things from that country such as tea for her special mug, it's called a mate um, um, and, and candies and stuff like that and believe it or not um, they've reached out to me as well so I'm waiting this coming two weeks for a parcel package from uh, Argentina with uh, mate which is this um, cup I think you see Denise holding it and it has a metal sort of straw thing um, and I'm gonna try it out and um, yeah try and get you to, to try it as well all things I, I like it we used to use the phrase multi -culty. I like to say ethno fusion so we're doing some ethno fusion if you go back to June July 2020 last year pandemic starting um, you'll notice that I made a video about our cherries and we have uh, three types of cherry tree on the property. One is called uh, Vishnya, which is sour cherry. The other one is Treshnya, um, which is sweet cherry. And I don't know what the other one is called, but it sits between the two. So like we've got one here and one there in the garden and in between is another one. And it seems to have a hybrid um, of the two. And on that video, and I'll link all these things, you know, to Denise in this video and that in the description um, below, um, we made a, a video about making cherry jam and that how uh, Tam's dad Predrag um, saved the cherry tree because it had got bitten by uh, frost. The blossoms had got bitten by frost and we were quite concerned that we were going to lose the harvest and at four o'clock in the morning he made a fire around it and, and he saved it. So you might want to watch that but this year it's been the same again. I've been out um, taking the crop of cherries um, off the tree not a lot, I must admit. Um, the plan was that Tamara 
was going to use the cherries to make a wonderful cherry cake that she does but she changed her mind and said we're going to make jam this year so I spent uh, an hour and a half very therapeutic actually um, stoning uh, the cherries and uh, yeah then put them in a pot with sugar and uh, then boiling them down to make cherry jam and I just love cherries cherry jam strawberry jam bit of a jam freak so we have some cherries not as many as I thought some of them are gonna have to be rejected cleaned up not enough for jam but Tamara is gonna be able to make definitely some cakes out of this just a pity the harvest is gets bitten so early I'm gonna try one of these yep sour cash Vishnia So the tree is now empty and loaded, harvested. And I think there are one or two left. Let's try one of these for breakfast. Yeah. Mm. Sour cherries. Let's try another one. And another one. Yeah. But none. All gone. And it goes without saying that when you have fruit from your own garden, somehow, I don't know whether it's psychological or not, it does taste much, much better. Well, that's our week this week uh, here in the village. It's not drop dead exciting, but we want to do real, not, you know, this uh, Instagram perfect um, coverage uh, of our life. We enjoy living here. We get a, a buzz out of living here. I think it is for me, uh, a boy that was born in London, uh, living the dream. And what I'm hoping that you'll be able to see or hear um, on the next video is tonight. I'm driving into Banya Luka to meet Tom. Tom's a Brit who used to live, I believe, in the foothills of the Himalayas. Yeah, that's weird. Interesting, exciting, adventurous. And now he lives near Yaitza, which is an hour and a half's drive south of here. Um, and he's just got permission to, or he's just had the permission so he can open an NGO uh, looking after the welfare of the wildlife in the mountains of uh, central Bosnia. In fact, he's got a uh, wolf that he's going to tell me about that is now domesticated uh, and lives with him. And then tomorrow and Sunday, I'll be down at the canyon on the river Verbas, again south of here at uh, Karanovac, um, because it is the International Rafting Federation. I'm not sure if it's the World or the Euro Championships this year. I did cover them years and years and years ago. Jolly good fun. Um, but there's not very much information online at the moment. But I'm going down there, going to spend two days filming, hopefully chatting to people. And with luck, I can get two bits of content. Real interesting content, I hope. One will be from the British team, Team GB, if they turn up for me. And maybe there'll be a Spanish-speaking team so I can get something for Denise to use on her channel as well. Tam is in the house taking shade from yeah a garden and a village that is getting increasingly hot next week we could be up to 40 wow that's going to be hot and she's looking after akiva our little kitten so from everybody here to wherever you are please stay safe they are still challenging times and um we'll catch you uh next week oh by the way as the video finishes you'll see a link to our newsletter please do subscribe uh, 
if you want to pay something please do because there'll be some paid content coming um, very very soon some exclusive stuff if not you can have it for free um, and it's a little more detail than what I put or what we put on a video so that's it living in Bosnia and Herzegovina you've got to come and see it once bitten you'll never go home bye